All right guys, what's happening? We're here with Samantha, and as you know, she's gonna be doing her rib remodeling soon. So what we wanted to show was the safety, uh, how we visualize the ribs with the ultrasound, how we feel them, and so how we can find where things are and where to stay safe in the body, basically, right? So first of all, because Samantha's skinny, we can feel her ribs pretty good here, right? So the ribs that we're gonna be shaping are the bottom three, which are numbers 10, 11, and 12. So on her, we can feel, this feels like about 10 right here, this feels like about 11, they course this way, so you can actually find them along their course. And the number 12 is kind of our shortest little one, and it's right about there, all right? So then we're gonna throw our ultrasound on there, and we're gonna get a feel for it. So, I'm gonna go here to our kind of highest one, which is number 10, and I'll show you on the ultrasound here. So if you look, it's literally that white thing right there. And then we're gonna go to the next one underneath it, number 11, and that's that one right there. Okay, the lung and all that kind of stuff is all the way down here. So it's pretty far from where we're working. And we can follow this course kind of up and down. So you got 10 right there, you got 11 right there. And then we look for 12, 12 is a little bit harder because it's deeper, but there it is right there. So there it is right there, the little white thing right there. I'm gonna press on it, it's gonna kind of move it and stuff. So the other interesting thing is that you think these things are really deep, but they're really not that deep. This hash mark over here is one centimeter. That moving right there is her lungs. So her lungs are far away from where we're working and we're gonna be working over here. So um, this rib is only one centimeter deep, not that deep. We go over to this one and that's maybe like six millimeters deep. And we go to this one over here, and that's pretty high. That's like maybe five millimeters underneath the skin. So they're super close to the skin, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this little rib right here. We make a poke hole with a little needle right in these three areas. We use a little drill thing to soften up that bone. And then we're able to kind of push that bone in just with our fingers. We don't have to push hard and it shapes that bone inward. And so that's how we find it. 